The Old Hemingway and the Sea. This week, we're being earnest with our art. Stay tuned. Ernest Hemingway. He wrote The Old Man and the Sea, a short novel, but a novel that has plagued high school students in literature for years and years. I personally liked the book, but I know some people that didn't. Hemingway had a real straightforward writing approach. So I really like a lot of his work and I would like to read more of it. So my wife is in a Lost Generation Authors course in her graduate studies at Mississippi College, and I'm choosing some of the authors to do portraits. Today, we're gonna to go through the process of this portrait of Ernest Hemingway, the old Hemingway in the sea, and we're gonna look at the techniques I used on this. So join us. Let's get started. Drawn with Prismacolors, the drawing is then sprayed with workable fixative to seal it in place. Uh, and then I start painting with acrylic. I'm using heavy body acrylics um, and I'm gonna try to do some airbrush like techniques but using a paintbrush to smooth out and feather some edges. This is uh, not incredibly easy to do. You have to have the right amount of brush, you, the right amount of pressure that you're using, um, but uh, I'm not a good airbrush artist, so sometimes I want to get that same kind of effect, but just using a brush. So it's sort of a dry brush effect. This is my palette. It's a, I've got more colors out here probably than I need, and I can mix some together, but I'm wanting a lot of cool colors on this and lean toward the cool side uh, for the background. So I'm bringing those cool colors up into his face as I'm as I'm uh, painting, and these yellows and blues together create some green. And so it's a different kind of color scheme, like I said, than and palette than I normally use. Uh, but I'm trying to experiment, especially with the idea of the sea and bringing some of those colors of of the sea. As I've said in other videos, I grew up working on a shrimp boat. Uh, so stories like The Old Man in the Sea or Captain's Courageous by Kipling, uh, those kind of stories always greatly appealed to me. Uh, even the stories in the Bible of Jesus walking on the water and things like that and uh, hanging with fishermen. It, uh, those kind of tales always appealed to me as I would be on the, on the shrimp boat working and and culling the shrimp so doing a work like this really brings back a lot of fun memories a lot of hard memories a lot of uh, hard work growing up and working on those those boats and with acrylic paint uh, building up I've been using it so far in a very thin way it's almost like watercolor because I've, I've thinned the paint down and now I'm starting to build up a little bit thicker paint with working on the details at first it can look very cartoonish and I will bring back some flesh tones and some warmer reds and all to give some blood feeling in the face make it feel like there's blood coursing through all those veins and those areas start it's always weird you can kind of it's weird sharing with someone and looking over your shoulder because there is a feeling of oh, okay this looks weird right now but you just keep working at it with as with anything in life you keep building it up hey this doesn't look right you keep painting until it does look right when painting watercolor that's harder to do because you kind of have to start to get it right pretty early on because it gets fixed in that paper like that but with with opaque paint like acrylic or oil if it's wrong let it dry and then come back on top of it and the advantage of using acrylic is that the paint dries very quickly that keeps you from being able to mix a lot like you want to um, in some paintings I will paint acrylic first and then mix with oil but it does dry quickly so this dry brush in the beard and the in the hair you can get some of these dry brush effects very quickly because immediately the paint has dried over the last couple of minutes from where you've been working 
using paper towel and my fingers more and more to kind of smear areas because in acrylic again without being able to mix you have to give the appearance of mixing so you do a lot of scumbling on top and let some of those colors show through underneath I really like some of these illustrations that I've been working on I love painting people and I like telling stories with my art so this is a portrait. It's not necessarily a fine art portrait, but it's an illustration portrait, and I'm really enjoying this, this technique. Again, the background is dry, so coming in on top with other colors and letting some of that bleed through, giving those sparkles on the water. That was my favorite thing on the shrimp boat, would be watching the sun start to set in the sky and watching all those sparkles and those different variations of lights and darks on the water, the waves, ever moving, a lot of fun. So I really liked how this picture kind of moved along. And in doing something like a boat there in the foreground, I do want to have some details, but I also want it suggested. I want a little more painterly kind of feel. Um, maybe like a a sergeant would paint a hat or something and not paint every little crease and crevice, but kind of a suggestion or Soroya or some of these other painterly artists. And I'm trying to do that more and more and do less and less of the detail, but more suggestion as I move on. And a few more sparkles on the water and we're wrapping up. So with trying some of our airbrush kind of feeling techniques, the last step is to just pull the artist tape off. I had taped it down at the beginning to give a border so that when I pull it off, I do this a lot in watercolor, not often in acrylic. I usually go on to the edge, but I wanted kind of a rough border along the edge. Hemingway was a rough old cob, so I wanted to do a little rough border with a little bit of texture and design on the edge instead of just going out. And here's our final picture of Hemingway in acrylic. And I couldn't resist one more. I had to feather those edges with a little bit of color. And that's how we do Ernest Hemingway, a painting of the old man in the sea. So this is done on just an illustration board with acrylic and pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of interesting techniques. There's not much texture on the work when we finish it here, uh, but I think it has a good look and I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. And I have some friends who really love Hemingway and they're interested in this piece. So I painted it to a specific size so that I could frame it with a frame that I already have. And then I'm going to um, sell that to my friends. So here we go, the old man and the sea. Please consider subscribing and telling your friends. I'm Anthony Thaxton. Thank you for joining us on Thaxton Studios.